Carbon Chemistry Part 1, we will be covering the three inorganic carbon reactions with water, concentrations of inorganic carbon species in water at different pHs, and germ plots. These are the three reactions involving inorganic carbon species and water with their equilibrium constants. These reactions proceed towards an equilibrium when CO2 gas comes in contact with water. So, here's the ocean. We have carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere. The solution takes place in the ocean waters, and it becomes aqueous carbon dioxide. The aqueous carbon dioxide reacts with H2O to form carbonic acid, H2CO3. Carbonic acid dissociates twice, each time releasing a proton. The first time it releases a proton, it forms bicarbonate, and the second time, carbonate. Okay, so, review of two important formulas, which are really the same formula rearranged. Here we have the first dissociation of carbonic acid. So, when the concentration of carbonic acid equals that of bicarbonate, the concentration of protons is 10 to the negative 6.35, which makes the pH 6.35, or acidic, as it is less than the neutral pH of 7. Let's do the same for another reaction. When the carbonate ion concentration equals bicarbonate ion concentration, proton concentration is 10 to the negative 10.33, and pH is a basic 10.33. So, as we can see, at a pH of 6.35, the concentrations of carbonic acid and bicarbonate are equal. And at a pH of 10.33, the concentrations of bicarbonate and carbonate are equal. What about at other pH values? At pH values below 6.35, carbonic acid is the dominant species. At pH values between 6.35 and 10.33, bicarbonate is the dominant species. And at pH values above 10.33, carbonate is the dominant species. We can plot these on a germ plot, which has concentration on the y-axis and pH on the x-axis. Here is the plot. The y-axis is in moles per liter, and the proton and hydroxide ion concentrations at different pHs are already plotted. The highlighted pHs show the typical pH range of natural waters. Let us mark the plot at pHs 6.35 and 10.33. It is important that we are giving CT, or C total, a value of 10 to the negative 3 molar. At pHs above 10.33, we assume carbonate is the dominant species, and bicarbonate and carbonic acid are negligible, so we plot a straight line of carbonate molarity equaling C total. Approaching a pH of 10.33 from the right, the carbonate concentration begins to decrease. At pH is below 6.35, we assume carbonic acid concentrations equal C total, and again we draw a straight line. Carbonic acid concentrations begin to decrease approaching a pH of 6.35 from the left. Finally, at pHs between 6.35 and 10.33, bicarbonate is the dominant species and it is plotted similarly. Note that bicarbonate is usually the dominant species in natural waters. In summary, this plot shows the prevalence of inorganic carbon species as a function of pH when CT equals 10 to the negative 3 molar. We can calculate the slope of the lines on a germ plot. At pH is less than 6.35, we make the assumption, yes, assumption, that the total carbon is equal to the total carbonic acid because the other inorganic carbon species are negligible. Now, let's have some fun. Remember those equilibrium constants? We can manipulate them now to find the slope of the line. Log everything. Rearrange. Now this is exciting. Log K1 equals negative 6.35. Negative log of protein concentration is pH. And since we assumed carbonic acid concentration equals CT, log of carbonic acid concentration equals negative 3. Therefore, the log of bicarbonate ion concentration equals negative 9.35 plus pH, which is the equation of a line. Let's plot this line on the germ plot. Note that the slope is positive 1. Let's try another line. At pH values between 6.35 and 10.33, bicarbonate ion dominates, so we assume it equals 10 to the negative 3 molar. Once again, we log everything and rearrange. And we get excited again! Negative log K1 equals negative 6.35. Log of bicarbonate concentration equals negative 3. And log of protons is negative pH! Therefore, the log of the carbonic acid concentrations is equal to negative 9.35 minus pH. Another line equation, but with a slope of negative 1. And we can plot it again on the germ plot.